Hi everyone, this is just a video talking through the way I would go about analysing symbolic codes in a trailer, which will hopefully help you when it comes to analysing a trailer of your choice for the next task. The trailer I'm focusing on for this uh, is the movie Joker, and I'll play the trailer and I'll pause every now and then to talk you through an analysis of symbolic codes. So the very opening of this trailer establishes the setting and the protagonist's place within that setting. So our colour palette is mainly comprised of browns here in terms of the city itself and Joker's costume. And this is emphasising a sense of decay in the character and decay in the, in the city as well, especially where you look more closely at the makeup of the frames. So that's the mise-en-scene. You can see a layer of dust here across the window and there are shadows across Joker's face, indicating that sense of unease within the character. Can you please stop bothering my kid? Sorry. Arthur. So this shot is using cool tones to emphasise that intense loneliness of the character and the way that the actor, Joaquin Phoenix, uses his body also contributes to this. So he walks slowly, he's got no real purpose and he's slightly hunched over. And of course those technical codes are also contributing to this. So we've got um, an extreme long shot here or a long shot showing how small that character is within the frame. I have some bad news for you. So the way that Joaquin Phoenix is laughing here seems very detached, which is especially clear when his, his face returns to a serious expression immediately after. Perhaps even the expression is a little bit pained. And we can understand that this character is unhinged and not in a sound state of mind. And the use of mise-en-scene also contributes to this, so you can see paint peeling off walls, lots of shadows, and again, there's that sense of decay and moral ambiguity. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative? So this frame uses a really interesting lighting setup where we have warm tones on one side of the frame and cool tones on the other side. And it's all in that kind of low key lighting. And we've got the character in the middle of that. So in the middle of those two types of lighting, showing that maybe he's wrestling with two sides of himself, but he's also facing the cool tone, which is maybe an indication that he's going to head down that dark, cold, unforgiving path. And Joaquin Phoenix's stance here, hunched over, also portrays um, that sense of someone who's wrestling with his own thoughts and feelings. Thoughts. All I have are negative thoughts. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. So it's clear that this is a turning point for the character that is going to tip him over the edge. And we know this through Joaquin Phoenix's facial expression here. He was overjoyed to see himself appearing on this program. But when he's made fun of, we can see that this is a tipping point emphasised through this close-up shot here. And we've also got that sound building intensity, those technical codes uh, symbolising this as well. <laughs> So where we previously had Joker emulating the colour palette of the city and appearing in shadows, we now have him standing out in the light and dancing jubilantly, signifying a massive change in the character and how he sees himself. 
However, we know that this is not a good thing um, with the trailer previously establishing that darkness that exists in the character and his fragile mental state and the fact that he's being tipped over the edge through those symbolic codes such as acting, lighting and mise-en-scene. For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. And people are starting to notice. The way that uh, Joaquin Phoenix uses his body, not only here but throughout the trailer, is quite interesting. It seems like he is distorting himself in quite an unsettling and almost deformed way, which tells us something about the monstrosity of this character and his mental state. And we've also previously in these uh, last few seconds seen shots of him applying that clown makeup which is very clearly symbolic of the character reinventing himself and taking on that new, darker persona. Is this a joke to you? Uh, Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? So colour has been used in a really interesting way with costume and setting here. So you can see on uh, in the setting here, let me just go back one second or so. So you can see in the setting that we have colours like reds, blues and oranges. And this is the exact same colour that the Joker has in that outfit that he has decided to adopt. And if you've seen the film, you'll know the significance of this. But we can also, from this trailer, um, we, can, we know that this isn't an accident and that the similarities in this colour scheme is communicating something about the character and his relationship between that setting, perhaps in an aspirational sense. Send in the clown. So overall, this trailer uses symbolic codes really, really well in terms of portraying the progression of this character and the progression that he's going to take over the course of the film. He's established as lonely and he's looked down upon, he's forgotten by society. He blends into or disappears into the shadows and no one notices him. This changes by the end of the trailer. So we've got our colour scheme, while still often quite dark, it's far more vibrant and Joker stands out within it as a reflection of his new identity and the way that he sees himself. And symbolic codes also tell us a lot about the setting and the society of this film. So I mentioned decay a fair bit throughout this, um, this little video, and this decay is not only shown through that colour scheme and lighting, but also, also through other elements of mise-en-scene. So everything is dirty, we see trash in the street, graffiti on walls, etc. And this is all giving that sense that this society is broken. It's decayed not just in a literal sense, but also in a symbolic sense as well. So that's an example of how you can consider symbolic codes such as lighting, acting, mise-en-scene, and setting in an analysis of a trailer. And I hope you found it helpful.